about to change my Here's the former now. UCLA yeah. Bruin, Kaimi Fairbairn, to get this one started. And off we go from Uptown Charlotte. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. So first and 10 now from the 30. Ready, ready. Set. They'll start on the ground with Hubbard. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. <coughs> well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. Now Young, flushed out right. That one going to be complete to David Moore. That one a first down pickup of eight. But we know that he can get first downs with his arm and his legs, Charles. And there when he gets outside of the pocket, the defense has to account for both, and he's able to complete it for the first. And he's very comfortable outside of the pocket. Some quarterbacks, that's not their thing for him. That seems to be the number one asset to his game. Gets out into the open field. Things seem to break down the secondary a little bit, and he picks out the right target. 11 yards in a Panther first down. That O line, they cleared a big hole there on that run. The athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve, and we're seeing it here. Not only are they controlling things right at the line of scrimmage, but they're able to get upfield to get to what we call the second and the third levels. You know, get to the linebacker spot, the secondary spot getting all the way downfield with their blocking, which helps keep the running back clean. They're trying to continue that trend here this afternoon. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. So back-to-back -back big runs, picking apart this defense on the opening drive. I thought this was a passing league. I thought this was the <laughs> era we were in where the ball was always in the air, right? They didn't get the memo. They didn't get the memo, and I know this to be true. It's a pick. Offensive still, to this day, they want to run the football. They want to fire out and hit people across the line of scrimmage, and they're clearing space. But despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there. Second down. Young off the bootleg, on the move to his left. And that one going to come up short, low throw. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. The seventh play now of this opening drive. This is third and long, though. On play action, Young. So That'll funny how oh, I'm literally by the rookie receiver. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. It'll go down as a gain of six. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. So Young will head to the sideline and on is Pinheiro for the Panther field goal. From the right hash, it's a 46-yard attempt. The kick by Pinheiro is good. And the Panthers stay claim to a 3-0 lead. So the opening drive does yield points, maybe not the seven they wanted, but they'll take the three. Accumulating first downs does not go up on the scoreboard. But it does go into the DNA of a team that's trying to establish itself to start a game. That has to feel pretty good for them. They'll take the three. Yeah, they had three first downs and three points. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. First carry for the former Oklahoma Sooner, Joe Nixon. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game.
So from the 37, here's second and four. They'll stay on the ground, mix it again. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. That's good for a Texan first down, a 12-yard pickup. That was pretty much mean potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at him and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all, challenging that defense. And on that go-around, the offense won the challenge. Mix it with a first down carry. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. Now to change things up, Stroud will throw it. Flush to his right. Kick. Oh, and his throw is going to be incomplete. They'll put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one. Force the incompletion. That allowed him to get bolder with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely. Freeze up your guys elsewhere. From the gun on third down, here's Stroud. He gets this in the hands of Mixon. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Ten yards there, good enough for a Texan first down. Solid opening drive so far, Charles. They've moved this football into field goal range, but you know that they want to cap this off with six and not three. Absolutely, as one of the better coaches in the league always tells me. On offense, I want to throw body blows all game long and finish it with uppercuts. Well, here are the body blows right now. He's hoping in one uppercut will take care of the end of this drive. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Houston. Stephon Diggs, 39 yards. And the Texans have answered that early field goal to take a first quarter lead. But Charles, here in their opening series, they said they had certain plays scripted for certain players. That looked like a well-designed play to get one of their top targets involved. Yeah, let's face it, Brandon. A player of his talent is a problem for any opponent to defend, and we saw it right there. They tried to deny an open lane to him. He still outplayed the coverage and scored the early touchdown. Good luck trying to figure out how to defend him as this game moves on. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take Bro, it. Bro, are you I, serious I like with this ragdoll? Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. From the 28, it's second and five. They go play action. Young. Yes, sir. Intercepted. Jalen Petrie picks it off. And to the 43. So down inside the 45 to the 43-yard line. That's where they'll take over. Partner, I think this one went awry very simply because he overestimated his arm strength and his ability to fit it anywhere he wants to. A lot of quarterbacks do that and often pay the price. Running left, it's Mixon. And he's going to be out of bounds down around the 35-yard line. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times...
you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it? But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Quick throw to Collins. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. 18 yards on his first catch of the game. It's a first down. Another nice play there. They've gotten down into the red zone in no time at all. That's what this offense can do when they get on a roll. And now they're set up for the first and ten. Out of the shotgun, they run with Mixon. And he'll get seven yards from the 17 to the 10 before he's taken down. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Back to Mixon on second down. And he'll take this one in for a Texans touchdown. Joe Mixon, a 10-yard touchdown I'm not run. Make this dude quit. And they are able to add on to their advantage. Fairbairn good with the extra point, and that pushes the lead up to 11. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. Bro, come on, now, man. How about this return? And he goes out of bounds, just shy of the 40, right around the 39. So solid starting field position. <sighs> the Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase oh, wow. the memory of the ball. Oh, wow, he's still running the ball. I did not expect that. Last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. On first and ten, it's Sanders. And he edges forward, but only gets a pair of yards out of it. And it's second down. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him. I need to first. get a pick right here. Here's a second and eight. To throw, Young. That one completes it again. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 34-yard line. A nice pickup there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. We've got a 14-3 ball game with two minutes left in the opening half. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. They'll run a draw now with Hubbard. And a short gain down to about the 33. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. That was a really nice play, we're able to stack that one up. But they get back in the huddle. He's got he's to tell his guys up front, great job. They kept people off of him, allowed him to run free and make the hit on the runner. Filled the gap nicely, kept him to just a one-yard gain. Young. Oh. If I didn't use it that, he would have caught it for sure. Absorbing the hit, just couldn't secure the football through the catch. And he was right there on the spot and forced the incompletion. That's something defenders work on all the time. If you're there, make the contact, but continue to work your way through the receiver so that he can't possess the football and turn it into a catch. They need to get this to the 24 on third down. Here we go, here we go. Looking to throw, Young. Yeah, we like those. Be incomplete. Gotta give some credit. They're able to hop up in the air and bat that one away. And that's frustrating for an offensive lineman because the only recourse is when he goes in the air to try and give some type of a pop or a shove, hoping to bring his arms down. And this is up and good from Pinheiro. We need and to a score second again. field goal Put here cuts their reach. deficit to 14 to 6 now. So the margin shrinks a bit. It's back-to-back -back drives here for him in with field goals. Yeah, we know no 
one's turning down three, especially in the first half, but you've got to finish these drives in the end zone. That's got to be a priority. Nice to have a reliable wow. kicker, but outside of his agent, you know you'd rather him kick one-pointers instead of three-pointers. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. Still more than a minute to go, so you know, there is time if they want to mount something here. Not only time, but they have three timeouts at their disposal as well, so that changes everything that you're doing here. Without those timeouts, you can only work the sidelines, hoping to get out of bounds. Here, the middle of the field is still available because you can call timeout and regroup. Bro, come on. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Back to Mixon on first down. And he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. Now second and five. Again, it's Mixon. And a good swarm to the football defensively as they get him down at about the 40. Five yards on first down, but now just a one-yard pickup there on second. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open. I wonder if he's in cover three, is not Yeah. Throwing now is Stroud. He'll get this to Akers out of the backfield. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football? Not going to lie, I thought he was in a swing route, down. not a and how about the call here? flat they need route. Two yards in their own territory on fourth down, and they're going to go for it. They're going for it. Here's Stroud. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. I don't know if I agree with that. I guess they don't care if I agree with that. <laughs> but, boy, you have to be surprised by that, right? I, I definitely was surprised that they decided to go for it in this situation. But they must have either felt like they either had a great play call on or they're trying to show extreme confidence. Stroud. Eluding the pressure right. And he just gets rid of it. Throws it away. The wise Oh my gosh. Buddy was in cover two, but took his freaking middle linebacker. I should have made a crossing route just in case he did that. Sad. This is a quick incompletion. This is likely the last play here of this first half. Mixing up the middle. And he's going to be taken down here as that will lead us to the end of the first half of play. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. It's the Texans in front, and they're going to get the football first as we are back underway in the third quarter. Here's Steven Sims on the return from his end zone. Oh, it's some hitting going on now. This has been a tight game, and he takes it. All right, we got to score right here. Dang, man, I feel like I should have scored. I have 45 seconds. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. Mixon will get it to start the second half. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the Put him in a blender. Line. 93 yards for him on the ground now, as he has been terrific here this afternoon. He had a really solid first half running the football and picking up where he left off here in the third quarter. How about the yardage he's piling up right now? This feels like a full game, not just this series that we're watching right now. I know people are screaming, where are the adjustments from halftime on the defensive side of the ball? Sometimes they're just not there. Sometimes you just have to find a way to tackle someone. No gain on the play. It'll be second down.
Once again, they run with Mixon. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. I need to start doing my play actions. That's part of my problem. So how has he done it? Because he's been patient. Followed his blocks, let everything develop, and then burst through for big gains. It looks like, yes, it is six defensive backs on the field for Carolina. They're going with a dime set. And Stroud now to throw. A short one going to be taken in here by Schultz. And able to pick up the first across midfield to the 47. It's a pickup of six. <laughs> I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations. But a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. Give him That's five, five yards. We like those. Second down. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're a back. You spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300 plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. From the 43, here's second down and five. Well, that's not a bay. I don't know Inside what it is. To Oh, he's trying to hit stick, my guy. We're going to have to start juking. 14 on that one. Good for a Houston first down. Offensive line right now really freeing up the rushing lanes on this drive. And we have to give them props. They've earned them. But these big runs that we're seeing, they don't result without everyone else being involved as well. Blocking on the perimeter has to take place downfield, too. Back to throw. Here's Stroud. He finds his running back, Mixon. Yes, and sir. Inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. A well-executed 22-yard gain. Boy, a lot of moving parts on this play, but what a nice design to leak the running back out to the left and send him down the field. And a good job spotting him and hitting him for a big play. They'll give it to Mixon. And he's brought down right at Don't the Don't fumble, bro. Line. Give him two on the play. The yards may start getting a little tougher to come by down here near the goal line. Yeah, That's get Cam Akers in the game. First down. I believe this I is Cam Akers. Now the first carry for Cam Akers. Yeah. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. This Carolina defense looking to keep him out of the end zone once more. Third and goal. Stroud looking to throw. And that is caught. Nico Collins. Texans. Nico Collins from three yards out. And the Texans take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Extra point by Fairbairn up and good. And the lead is up to 15 now. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. And he brings this out past the 20 to the 24. Let's see what Buddy Boy does. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. And their deficit a little wider than it was at halftime. Does that touchdown a minute ago change the thinking? Bro is still running the ball. What is he thinking? You're thinking about the score touchdown, running the ball, and then get a, you got to get a stop after that. Substantially, but you have to do it without pressing, because pressing that will lead you into bigger errors. They'll come up on a second and seven. I mean, he still has a lot of time. I'm only up by two touchdowns. Now Young. And the catch oh made my gosh. And he gets this one just shy of the 40 down at the 39. Second catch for him today and it'll wind up a first down. And that's the kind of play this offense needs to maybe kick him into gear a little bit. 
They've been stuck in neutral much of the game. Perhaps <sighs> that can give them a little bit of confidence that big plays are out there. Now here's Young. Escaping the pressure right. And Young will slide to the ground safely as he picks up the first down as well. Able to find a lot of empty space there. Picking up the first down. Buddy Boy is trying to score. Mm. Do not like it. He is really trying to come back. I do not like it. Here's Young from the shotgun. Got a man. That's Bro, the how are you not fumbling? You're getting lifted off your of feet. Second and two. We have played three quarters. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Buddy Boy is catching the ball, staying on his feet. <sighs> There's no way. From the 33, here's second down and two. Out of the gun, here's the give to Hubbard. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. We got to get out of that dime defense. That is not helping us. I tell you, they didn't give it to him much for the first three quarters, but when they have, he's been efficient. Maybe they ride him more here down the stretch. Hey, I'm not sure it was actually in the game plan for him to have as few carries as he has. But it might play out really well for them now. As you noted, they want to ride him down the stretch. He should have fresh legs. Bro, strip. Oh, come on, man. You got Bryce Young running over three people. Stop the cap. Has not been a big game for him throwing the football. I think he feels like, let's try something different. Let's use the legs here and see if we can make some plays. And no passing touchdowns. Yardage not where he would like it. Try something new. It worked there. Right, 97. Ready. Ready. Hubbard. We'll that was not a touchdown, but all right. Carolina. So this now a nine-point difference. You figure the book here says kick the extra point, make it a one-score game. Now you and I have seen coaches get over the shove up a bar. But I agree with you. Kick it here and get back within a score. And now in a nine-point game, they'll still just need to go for one here. And it's good. So that will get them back within one score. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. What the? Come on, bro. I got hit by air. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First downs a must on this drive as they start out here first and ten. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. And that's just an ideal run to start this drive because they're in full ball control mode now. So if you keep ripping off seven, eight, nine yards of carry, you're going to have a great chance of finishing off this game. From the shotgun, here's a give to Akers. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. And this is exactly what you're looking to do offensively. If you can start stringing some runs together like this, you'll keep churning out first downs. And that's going to put you in a great position to carry this one home. On first down, they'll stay with Akers on the ground. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. 25 yards to pick up there and also a first down. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine.
So it's Texans football as we welcome you back. They've got a first and ten as they look to try and finish this one off. Is my uh, guy hurt? Five points of contact Whoa. necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. And I think this defense knew what was going Buddy coming. just came through the line of scrimmage, huh? No line. blocking, no nothing. Got to figure the rush is going to be fierce again as they come up second and 13. Stroud looks to throw. That'll be pulled in downfield by Collins. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. And these guys certainly are not hiding what their intention is. They're absolutely showing it. They're definitely not going to sit on this lead here in the fourth quarter. They'll run on first down with Akers. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Didn't get to the sticks, but that's an ideal carry there on first down, isn't it? I mean, now you're second and one. Although, you know, in the NFL, even if you picked up the first down, I don't think it's a big difference because the clock doesn't stop. Yeah, not like college. Right, if it's college football, you want to make second one is probably better than picking up the first down because in college football, the clock stops with every first down. It actually aids the defense in that situation. Well, I would have figured after the nine-yard run on the previous play, getting one more yard wouldn't have been much of a problem. But apparently it was, and now it's third down. They're trying to keep the drive Where going. the this hell is my guy at? Is he hurt? To throw with Stroud. And this is caught. And that could seal it. It's a touchdown. Well, that's just how they drew it up, CD. His first read was there, got it to him quickly, and into the end zone. Absolutely excellent execution by all involved. And the coordinator, yeah, I give him credit, found the perfect play call. Quarterback let it fly as soon as the target came free. And his guy made a nice catch. Just how you draw it up in practice and then execute it in the game. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbear now to kick it away. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. And they're going to have good starting field position. He's out of bounds, but not before he's across the 35. This is first and 10. Young. Dash. <gasps> he caught that, bro. This kid cheats. One last shot for Young. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. How is it going to wind up incomplete? However, we do have a what? flag. Now. Let's check in with our referee. Did they really the just give him that, to bro? Protect this lead late. Those are the types of mistakes they could afford to go without. About the last thing you want to give them is help in completing a comeback, which is exactly what that penalty does. Okay, ready? They'll run out of the gun. It's Hubbard. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. 